And Ole Kerr has fallen when leading, and also Joe Luke has blundered and unseated the rider. So what a wonder is left in front, and the uh, one that was left in second barely scrambled over it, Red Radish, and is almost at a walk, and a fence behind as there. What a wonder, very nearly refuses, and has parted company with the rider, managed to negotiate the fence, what a wonder. He's going to be quickly remounted, and that has left uh, Red Radish now... Uh, coming to take that fence and a remarkable achievement there from the rider of What A Wonder who's got back on board and has got the partnership going again chased by uh, Red Radish who still hasn't managed to get into the lead even though the one in front fell and Ole Kerr has been remounted a fence behind at the back of the field so once again they'll emit the second last fence in the back straight and going towards the last on the far side, what a wonder, who's already parted company with the rider has uh, done the same thing again at the very next fence and uh, the uh, horse that was left in the lead, Red Radish, has refused. So Ali Kerr, who uh, has been remounted, having been leading and falling at the first fence on the far side, has now been left in the lead once more and has uh, fallen there, refused, and uh, has parted company with the rider. And at the moment, there are no horses left in the race. We'll wait to see if anybody remounts. Looks as if uh, the riders of Ole Kerr and What a Wonder are trying to uh, find their mounts and uh, get back on board again. And Tony McCoy has uh, now got back on board family business and he's now making his way back to the uh, fence where he fell, the second fence in the straight. So family business coming to take this second fence in the straight. And he's jumped that safely. Ole Kerr is uh, beginning to canter into the home straight. Family business is a good uh, 30 lengths behind. So we'll see whether uh, Ole Kerr does uh, try and negotiate these three fences in the straight. Remember, he's already fallen on a couple of occasions. And uh, Ole Kerr has elected not to jump the fences in the straight, so it is just family business who is uh, attempting to complete the course and will be the only finisher, provided he jumps these three fences in the straight. Jumped away to the left at the first of them. On towards the second from home. This was the fence at which he came to grief on the second circuit. Family business, once again out to the left, but jumped it safely enough. So racing towards the final fence, family business, up and over it safely. And in a quite remarkable uh, contest, family business is the only one to complete the course in a race that has taken ten and a half minutes to complete. 